Just another Manic Monday here on First Take. Appreciate you starting your week with us alongside Skip Bayless. I'm Molly Karam. Stephen A. joins us from New York. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, Molly. How are you? Skip, how you feeling? How you doing? You know what? It's beautiful to see you. I I'm actually How's feeling pretty going, good. Brother? But I do want to start you, you, the show you, 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 by congratulating yes. both you and Molly for her giants and your quote unquote yes. giants, right? They are hers. I'm not sure they're yours. You're sort hold of a on, pseudo on, Giants hold, fan. Hold on, Skip, hold on, Skip. I do have a question right now. You usually look a little bit more polished. I don't know. I can't tell whether or not you didn't get enough sleep or you were crying. You can feel the need to explain, but I, I, I'm just saying, I, I just noticed I something actually, a little bit different this morning. <laughs> I, I actually just looked in the mirror and I felt like Will Ferrell and Anchor, Anchorman. Yeah. Oh, you, know, you look okay. good. You look, yeah, you look that's good. what I was all thinking right, too. All right, all yeah. right, okay, okay. But let, let's go. All in black, go. but we, it's not we, desperate we have, times. We have some cowboys to discuss. We do. We do. But listen, Skip, I'd be more hype if Tony Romo and Des Bryant were in that game. But I, I was still pretty excited. I'm not going to lie. Let's that work, people. Me. That mattered me. <laughs> go ahead. All right. It was a close one in Jersey, but the Giants pull off the seven-point victory over Dallas, a team led by Matt Castle. It was Castle's first start as a Cowboy. New York leads the division by one game at four and three. Mr. Smith, what's your takeaway? What? Mr. No, no, Mr. Smith. <laughs> yes. Mr. Who cares? Yes. What? Who cares? What? Well, that's that's all anybody say. cares I about. The world is waiting to hear what Stephen A. Smith has <laughs> you, to say about know, this game. You know, well, listen, listen. All right, if you insist, oh, I mean, I, do. I was just going to sit back in. It's your moment, and you better seize it while you have it. Shine on. Let me let, let, let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. My, 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 my condolences to the, <laughs> to the Cowboy Nation. I mean, it's been about a month, right? Four straight. Been about a month since you won a game. Mm -hmm. You know, listen, listen, listen. The Cowboys were incredibly competitive, Skip Bayless. I do understand. You know, Matt Castle threw the three interceptions in the second half. The pick six by Dominic Rogers Camardi, I actually did not blame on Matt Castle. I don't believe that that was his fault. Terrence Williams should have ran a better route. He did not do so. He allowed DRC to step right in front of him. Pick six. We understand it. The other two interceptions right along the line of what we anticipated. But even then, Skip Bayless, even then, <laughs> you still were in position to win. You came back. He threw a 26-yard touchdown pass. You tied the score at 20-20. And then what happens? The accident waiting to happen that is the Cowboys. Suddenly, with their special teams, they sit up there and they give, a nine, give off a 99-yard kickoff return to the Wade Harris, who, by the way, used to play for the Cowboys. Mm, <laughs> so he did. You had a former Cowboy that, that, turned, that turned around mm. and tortured the Cowboys. It's just, you know, listen, here's the deal. Once again, the Cowboys, I, I just keep trying to tell you, when I say accident waiting to happen, these are the kind of things that I'm talking about. They lead you to believe they're there, that they're in position to win, that they're going to do something special. And then what? happens right at the moment, right at the moment you least expect it. Whatever needs to happen, happens. In this particular case, it was a kickoff return. So you had a pick six, and then you had the, the, the kickoff return for the touchdown. So that's 14 points that the Giants scored, which means that the Dallas Cowboys defense did their part. Holding the Giants offense to 30 points, 13 points rather, still wasn't enough to get it done. Your rush for over 230 yards still wasn't enough to get it done. I don't even know why the Dallas Cowboys threw the football, Skip. You could have ran on the Giants all night long, which you virtually did. But a key element of the game, when you had an opportunity to continue to run and you elected to pass, somehow, some way, an accident occurred and the Dallas Cowboys yet again on the outside looking in at somebody else's victory they have lost four straight they have collapsed it looks very very bad for them right now i do hope that tony romo gets back for you but you skip bayless thought 
that Matt Castle was going to come to the rescue, that it was obviously the fault of Brandon Whedon because you wanted to stay off the Whedon, and that was going to propel you to victory. But nothing's going to work, Skip, until you get Tony Romo mm. back. I am so sorry mm. that this has had to happen, yeah. but I tried to warn you. Are you finished? Yes, sir. Oh, thank Please. you very much. I've and, been waiting to hear from you. Uh, I know the over-under <laughs> on accidents waiting to happen in Vegas was 14 for today's show, so I'm going to help those who bet the over. <laughs> accident waiting to happen, accident waiting to happen, accident waiting to happen, accident waiting to happen. I want to add four more times to accident because it will sure. come up at least, what, eight more times sure. in the show. So bet sure. the over. It's, you, if you bet it, you're, you're golden now. <laughs> okay, now back to reality. Mm, please. Reality? Yes. As a Cowboy fan, I was actually pretty pleased by what I saw last night. I must admit to you, I, because you know what my takeaway was from this game? From, from the bottom of my heart, Okay. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. My takeaway was, your Giants aren't very good. Mm. And it made me very happy because this thing hasn't even gotten started yet. My Cowboys, as disastrous as those couple of plays were last night, are still one game back in the loss column in the NFC East from your New York football giants. And it ain't even November yet. We got a long ways to go. You, Mr. Smith, wrote off my Cowboys, remember, on Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving last year. So I could go yeah. all the way to Thanksgiving and still have a chance with my Dallas Cowboys, as resilient as they have proven to be over the last couple of years. And I... I got to tell you, I, I actually thought Matt Castle was pretty good in the second half last night, and I agree with you. The interception wasn't all his fault. Maybe it touches. I'll, I'll give him 25% of the blame, but if Terrence Williams doesn't want to come back and fight for the ball or they're not on the same page, I'm not going to condemn Matt Castle for that. So let's, That's true. So to Molly's point, let's step back here. Let's think about this. You had Eli and Odell Beckham Jr. Yep. I did not have Tony Romo or Des Bryant, or for that matter, I lost Joseph Randall in the first series of the game, my starting running back. And my Cowboys gave you, handed you, gift-wrapped 14 points. Mm -hmm. And it was a game to the bitter end. You would think it would be a blowout. But why wasn't mm -hmm. it a blowout? Because my Cowboys dominated your defense running the football. And I mean flat mm -hmm. out dominated. 233 mm -hmm. rush yards? Are you kidding me? 460 total yards? Dominate the clock 38 minutes to 22 seconds? 22 minutes? Are you kidding me? Those are huge, great, positive signs for my Dallas Cowboys. In mm -hmm. fact, if we want to be objective here and look at the truth of the matter of what happened last night, my Cowboys very easily could have been up 21-7 in the first half and put this game flat out away because you would have put Eli in one of those desperate, I got to do more than I think I need to do kind of Eli moments, and we might have seen bad Eli emerge. But what happened? Dallas, opening possession, running the ball right down your Giants' throats. They run the ball for 15, 13, 11, 6, 9, and 7. I'm going in order. Those are the gains and you get it second and three at the Giants 12. And Scott Linehan, I, I actually, I thought about ask, calling for his firing at this point. He put the ball in Matt Castle's hands twice in a row. On second down and third down, you, you let the backup quarterback try to win the game or at least get it in the end zone? Are you kidding me? And of course, misfire, misfire, field goal. That cost you four points. There's no way the Giants are gonna keep you out of the end zone. You are thumping them. You are, you are gouging them with your run game. So I didn't get that. Third possession of the game. Boom, 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 go down the field. It's second and 10 at the New York 31. And Matt Castle actually made a really nice, sweet little scramble right sidearm throw to Darren McFadden, hit him right in the hands, and he escapes for 31 yards up the boundary for a touchdown. And I'm thinking, wow, that was, that was a play, man. That was a wow play. And what happened? There's a flag for some phantom offensive interference. It was as <laughs> bogus a call as you will ever see. I love it's it. on Devon Street, and I don't even know what he's doing. He's just standing there, and he's looking around like, Wait a second, me? I'm not doing anything, I'm not doing anything, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. If there was any contact, it was well after the ball had been caught by Darren McFadden. That's a huge play in this football game because we're talking about another touchdown that became a field goal. That could have been 21 to seven at that point because they go right down the next time with the ball. 
boom, 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 and score. So I got to tell you, big picture, Matt Castle made three or four big time throws in the second half. I thought he was much better than Brandon Whedon in general. And my takeaway when I turned <clears throat> off the television was lack of effort on the Terrence Williams play and then the kickoff return. You talked about the ex Cowboy, Dwayne Harris. I got to bring up your, your UConn guy, Byron Jones, their first round draft mm-hmm. pick. Look, Byron, if, if you Rough don't. weekend for UConn. Yeah, look, look, you're the first round pick. If you don't want to play kickoff coverage, just tell him you don't want to play because <laughs> you just look at him. You just don't lay him. You just say, I don't think I want to get my hands dirty on this. I, I don't think I want to actually take a hit now from Dwayne Harris at full speed. Just come off and <laughs> tackle him. Tackle him. <laughs> just lay out and tackle him. You, you can't just throw your arm out at him. You're on the kickoff coverage team for a reason because you can run and you can tackle because you're a big kid. So if you don't want to play, that's fine. Let's get somebody else out there. Those are the only two plays that obviously cost my Cowboys a game. They were actually in position to win. So I'm, I'm pretty good with what I saw last night because do I fear the New York football giants and Eli's, what do you have, like 14 completions? No, I don't fear it at all because you're not that good. I don't know what you have to laugh about. Or gloat about. Uh, I, 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 I'll be more than happy to elaborate if you would like. Skip Bayless, this is not about the Giants. This is about your Cowboys. Not for everything me. Everything you, everything. Oh, yes, it is. What else can it be about? It's about your Cowboys. You just finished talking they about lost. how your Cowboys could have won the game, right? Yeah. It's about your Cowboys. Forget the Giants for a second, Skip Bayless. Let's piggy, piggyback off the point, all the points that you just made. They were adequate. They were absolutely on the money. I give you credit for those things, but all you're doing is continuing to buffer my points. The Dallas Cowboys have lost four straight games. Let's count the ways. You had a 21-7 and then a 28-17 lead against Atlanta. You blew that one. Brandon you Whedon. go up against... No, 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 no. Stay with me here for a second mm-hmm. because I'm just, I'm just trying to elocute the different ways. All right. So you had the lead. You blew that one. Then you go up against New Orleans, you go to overtime, but a rookie third stringer is on the defensive side of the ball. There was some miscommunication. You lose that way. Then you go up against New England, a superior team. You obviously get ramrodded. You lose that one. You don't have a chance. And so now you show up against the New York Giants. And what happens, Skip Bayless? You know what happened? It was one of those situations, once again, it's special teams. It's a pick six. They are literally coming up with different ways to lose games. In this particular instance against the Cow- against the Giants, you're not wrong with what you were saying, but what I would say to you is that it's just a different methodology that they exercised in order to come up with a different way to lose. And that's what this is really all about. So when we talk about the accident waiting to happen, the walking pieces of mediocrity that they always have the potential to be, mm. uh, life without Romo and Dez Bryant. You know, it, when Romo and Dez were in Green Bay and it was a catch, damn it, it was a catch. But you know what? The referees didn't say so. Okay, the officials blew the call. There just seems to be different ways in which the Dallas Cowboys end up falling, which is my point. That's all. That's all. I I totally agree with you. Giants defense is suspect. I'm not pleased with their offensive line. Obviously, you know, Odell Beckham Jr. was out there, wasn't 100% with the hamstring, but he was still out there, but it was relatively non-existent with just four catches for about 35 yards. The only time he was visible is when he took off the helmet to yell at the referee because he thought that he should have got a pass interference call. Ruben, Ruben Randall is better than serviceable, but he's not quote-unquote elite, and we're still waiting for Victor Cruz, and the defense obviously has a bevy of injuries. The Giants got a whole bunch of problems. But clearly, it's nothing compared to the problems your Cowboys seem to have. That much is obvious, and that's all I got to say. Okay, I appreciate you saying that, and I will be the first to admit, if my Cowboys go on the road and turn it over four times to your zero times, we're probably going to lose that game, except that the fourth turnover took away a late opportunity to actually win the game by Cole Beasley. But think about that. You should be ashamed. The Giants should be ashamed. How, how did my Cowboys stay in that game? How were they tied at 20-all fairly late, you know, midway fourth quarter? That's, you should be ashamed. 
Hey, Skip, I forgot about that one. I just saw that. I forgot about Beasley, you know, Muffin mm -hmm. and Muffin. I forgot about that. Oh, my Lord. That's that's when it, that's when the, the, the evening was, really became special to me <laughs> because this guy, Cole yeah, Beasley, is usually catching Sorry. passes. He's catching funny. passes in traffic. I can't believe I forgot that. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. That, that. that was the clincher right there. All I'm trying to say to you again, Skip Bayless, what, the, what normally wouldn't happen appears to happen against the Cowboys or to the Cowboys against somebody else. I mean, Atlanta, New Orleans, New England, the Giants, it doesn't matter. They just seem to come up with different ways to make me very happy and you relatively miserable. No yep. matter how much you try to gloss over it, Skip Bayless, it's a very hard morning for you. I, I, I'm here for it's you. It's really not. I, I'm your boy. I'm, I'm really I'm pretty happy. I, I'm I here really, for you. I think I still know? got a real shot here. It was an encouraging and, morning. And, and, and hey, actually, hey. How many times last year did I quote the old cliche to you? He who laughs last, <laughs>, laughs best. Yeah, you said that about as many times I, as I, I said accident waiting to happen. Yeah, I did. That I said correct. it. And I, I actually got that the last correct. laugh last year. But, 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 wait, but wait a minute. We've all conceded that the Dallas Cowboys, well, I've, I conceded that at best they'd be three and six after nine games, but that Tony Romo would come back with them still having a chance to win because nobody was going to run away with the division. So we've all conceded that they're not going to run away with the division, and as a, nobody's going to run away with the division, and as a result, Tony Romo and Des Bryant will be in position to come back and claim the division. That's not the issue. The issue is, in the time that Romo is gone, how many games were the Cowboys going to lose? And they have now lost four straight in four different ways. You, you and better that's hope what it I'm gets to, to six. Say. You better hope or you're going to well, be in trouble. Really? Yeah, uh, you better really, hope. Really? And really? I, I will I, say this. Sure, I, sure. I have only one concern this day, and that is mm -hmm. I thought that the Romo return game, which is at Miami November 22nd, would be a cakewalk okay. game, like an easy versus no. Joe Philbin game. Campbell's uh, doing that a good changed. job. Dan Campbell Campbell's just changed life job. in Miami. So that could not That's be right. uh, the easy game that I thought it would be for my that Cowboys. Is fair. I agree with you there. I agree with you there. Thursday will be a big test for them when they have the short week. I will agree, though. I think Castle is an upgrade, Skip. I do, even with the picks, for what it's worth. <laughs> and shout out to Dwayne Harris and Orleans Darqua. We, we had a little offense there. Mm, Moving on, though, we're going to talk a little bit more about Harris. Listen, a win's a win. It was ugly, though. Greg Hardy gets heated that the kick.